Hey guys, Theo LaRue here and welcome to the Caffeine Zone where we discuss everything coffee. Now in this specific video, we are going to brew coffee in a plunger. What you might need is a plunger, a scale, because you have to use a recipe, coffee in a grinder or grounded coffee beans if you need that, and of course something to measure in if you're going to use the grinder. So we will start off with 15 grams of coffee with a 1 to 10 ratio. So we're going 15 grams of coffee, 150 milliliters of water, to then end up with 150 milliliters of coffee. I've got my 15 grams plus a little bit extra if you're going to be grinding yourself. If you've got pre-grounded coffee, this doesn't matter. If you're going to grind your coffee, you just need to purge your grinder. Just to make sure that the previous coffee doesn't end up in your next cup. 15.1 grams, beautiful. So we start off with, let's say you had your grounded beans, then you put your plunger on top of your scale and we preheat it. Just a little bit of water to preheat so you make sure the chemical structure stays the same in your coffee there we go preheated purge we go in 15 grams of coffee there we go 15 grams then we're going to add about 50 to 100 mils of water Do make sure that you get a very, very nice and even pour so you can actually wet all of your coffee. You need to make sure that all of the coffee is wet, give it like a little swirl, or with a spoon you can stir it a bit. We want that to run just for about 30 seconds. We call that the blooming process. That's just to get all of the unnecessary gas out of the coffee so that we can get a nice, good, even extraction of the coffee. There we go, 30 seconds. We're gonna go up to 150 mils of water. Give it a nice stir. And now the brewing starts. So we get our filter just above. And now the most worst part of making your morning breakfast coffee, the wait for the brew to finish. You need to wait at least two and a half to six minutes depending on how strong you want your coffee. The moment all of your coffee grinds fall down to the bottom of your cup or to your plunger, your extraction is finished. Now there's one of two different ways then to get your coffee into your cup. You can either plunge it down or you can pour it out. Now I prefer to just pour it out because then I don't push all of the fine grinds through my filter into my cup. Like many people, I don't like the grinds being left in the bottom of my cup when I drink. So for this specific brew, I'm only going to go with about three minutes. That should be strong enough because it's a light roast coffee. I want some beautiful flavor. So right now you can either plunge it down or just pour. Now just one interesting thing to note is to never ever ever use boiling water. Boiling water will burn your coffee which makes your coffee bitter in flavor, which means you need sugar, and that's unnecessary. So there we go, a beautiful plunger brewed at home. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give us a thumbs up, because I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you have not. And, and most of all, may you find your happy place in every single cup. See you on the next video.